Once upon a time, the internet happened and there was joy in the world. Probably because of interconnectivity and networking that they had. The letter, I mean, the web also came into play and we had things like, you know, Google and Bing, right? What if I told you that, you know, the search engine as you know it is just one aspect of the internet. Now, by the end of this video, I promise and guarantee that one, I would show you how security experts or hackers are able to see through your webcam, cameras, your devices basically, right? Two, of course, I'll also show you preventive measures, how you can protect this from happening to you. Then three, I would have also introduced you to a centralized platform for Internet of Things, right? So please know that this is just for sensitization purpose, right? And this is just for you to know how to protect yourself in this age and time, right? Where the Internet of Things is like a big thing, you understand? Especially for you guys that just leave a webcam, you know, open your cameras right, to just expose them. Now, before we begin, let me do a bit of explanation to you so you actually appreciate the beauty of what we're trying to achieve here, right? So, we'll be working with a tool or a website called Shodan, right? S H O D A N. Shodan is a search engine that scans the internet for connected devices and systems, right? Indexing information about everything from webcams to your laptops. Unlike traditional search engines such as Google, which indexes web pages, Shodan increases the information about the device connected to the internet, making it possible to search for devices based on various criteria and even IP address. So, in simple words, Shodan is often described as a search engine for Internet of Things. Now, let's go practical. So, right, like I said, let's get practical um so i just go to my browser i already have one open here so like i mentioned the name of the website is shodan.io and this is what we'll be using of course we have more um websites that can do the same functionality but this is what we're dwelling down today um as we can see we have different options here um show them maps images monitor so this can actually do a lot this can tell a lot about a device as far as the device is connected to an internet right it would get every information about it especially if it is on un dedicated right so now let's get practical let's do something um i'm looking at the filter here so let's let's start with something as camera as underscore okay i have it here so this is it you can look at it camera as underscore screenshot equal to true so if i eat this right this is like a filter um what i'm saying is for every camera that um every camera on the internet that this took a screenshot for you should find i'm turning to true so i that is the billion value and i hit enter mm, okay so voila you can see camera images right so firstly to show you that this is this was captured today um show sure, okay yes this part so you can see the date here and this is the time it did the capture right i think around 257 but if you look at this now this is i think it's like it's that's like um, a company's um car park you understand so then again it depends on what i'm trying to use this for you know one can easily zoom to get the number and, and everything i mean like i said i'm trying to let you know how um how sensitive this can be okay so this took a camera i'm not sure what this is but you can see the time here um if i scroll down because this is somebody's car this is almost car park as well this is almost car park and you can see this did the capture of someone's system if you look here i mean this is the location of the person this is the ip address and um, i don't want to go into the whole technical jargons right uh, you understand but i mean this is just a an overview an edu overview basic you can see different different edu car this is a finish station what country is this assign it right so if i come up now i can actually filter if i want to filter by countries um this is japan this is the german italy russian federation yeah, you can see ports here so i eat country i eat more years so to give me 
it will bring out more countries um in their short form so depending on how i want to filter it so that's not the end i mean there are a lot of things you can actually do with this um so for example now let's try something else now um let's do taitsu um yes uh, oh my let me see blue blue iris remote so blue iris is like a camera complete sort of uh, for monitoring and so i want to filter with yeah so let me take this away so i'm trying to do a filter with their name so if i hit enter now mm, but on my internet speed so voila so like i mentioned to you uh this player is about to go great of what they do about your service and you can see real-time capture this is inside um this is like a casino if i, if I screw down i mean you get the view i do i don't want to just i don't want to tell you how deep this is right so this is like one website that acts like um that acts like a central platform for internet of things anything that can connect to the internet your phone your laptop anything as far as it can connect to the internet this would bring information on it especially if it's not um if it's not masked and if the um if the cameras are not closed so for example now if you look at what i'm searching with now um this is my view and i said i want a remote view for this company so because this is what they do you can see this year this year right and um so like i'm like i'm be mentioning this is just for sensitization purpose right this is for you to understand what is out there and like i said i will be sharing how you can um you know mitigate or you know actually stop this so i mean you can put in whatever search you want to put it depending on so then again um there are this if you go through this shodan website very well you would there are parts where you can search for um shodan filter right how to filter what you want and i don't know to stop there i want us to do one last thing um and this part might be a bit scary so if i come here and say as okay great so now i don't want to even filter with cameras now you know i'll be trying to filter with them um, screenshot and webcam and, and the like so now i want to filter with name so if i do this now let me remove this if i do this now this will bring everything that has to do with matthew and you know the screenshots that it took so i hit enter sang card pra do eh, uh, my internet sorry okay so but while this is loading um I mean let's just still look around this so you can see what i'm talking about so this is somebody's system somebody's system and i can tell that this system is going to a domain because of this um other user and you understand so i mean for example let's assume i'm the threat actor right or i'm an hacker right i mean this is i've actually literally just gotten an information of this company i can just you know if i know this logo now i mean let me say i know about the company and i i can you understand so look at you know informations information rather that's of people so i mean if you look here look at people's system administrator so i'm not sure i captured you know because i know i feel that will match you okay anyway this is matthew so the list is inexhaustible um if i come here i want to filter let me try femi let me just even see i mean out of curiosity let me try femi um Oh, okay so of course this is nigeria and um, now let me try to filter with nigeria i want nigeria alone so sound this is the name of the company african network information center as you can see and um for this person here and this is the only nigeria information that you brought if i click here now
support the SSL and certain certificates. So it keeps you a whole lot. And um, I mean, see, to be to be sincere, I before I you know came about this, I did a lot of research on this and I saw things, right? Things, you know, I saw a lot of company portals, um, a lot of web URLs that it took me to, web pages and um I was like, wow, but of course, I mean, I, I'm just trying to, um, the purpose of this is to sensitize you more, um, rather than, you know, bringing up ideas in your head, right? So, I mean, I think I will stop this for, um, for practical for now. I mean, you guys can look into this, uh, you can also search for Shodan, Shodan filters. I mean, it should. I think it should give you filter reference. I mean, if you, oh, so yeah, query. What makes it filter? So you can, if you search it, it give you sort of how you can, you know, query for depending on what you want to use it, use it for. Um, especially security experts, um, right? So um, now let's talk about preventive methods, right? So number one, you see, you see that um software updates that you get on your phone, right, or that you get on your system, and you just overlook those things are very important. I mean, they are called patch management, right? So as much as possible, try to update your phone, update your software OS, right? This can actually prevent children from actually accessing your um your device. And that thing again is use VPN when um you know when needed especially if you're working with the company right and you're working from home vpn is always very effective now i want to say one that is very important um but before, but before i say it i need to explain to an extent how shodan naturally accesses this your device right so okay let me start by saying this right number three is make sure your passwords are complex right make sure the password are complex now the way shodan works is this it's um whenever you look for whenever you search for devices or when i is when it does a search right it looks for open ports vulnerable ports right vulnerable ip with you know um ports that are exposed and you know it tries to take advantage of them right so um at times so they are totally involved right if those um ports and you know those devices are not passworded you can actually get information from them and even if they are passworded right so it does a sort of scanning right so uh, to make it make more sense imagine you there are some default um credentials for some default devices for example you get a router now most of the time the default um credentials so this may be admin and you know zero 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 right something like that so what it does is it, it does a scan and it uses this commodity generic credentials to scan and scan if if yours is among those you know general credential maybe you do not change your router right it's is able to assess it and it picks it up to make it make more sense, any device that you see on Shodan are devices that their security are not maybe really, um, you know, high level, right? I mean, I mean, this is debatable, right? But there's our seeds, and I think don't take my word for some of these things. I think you need to make your own research to understand how this has been seen, right? So, um, I think that's it basically, right? Um, disable on um, ports that are not needed, right? But then again, this video, I'm trying to make it as granular as possible to everyone. I don't use too much tech terms, right? But I suggest you just read on this and um, that's the end of this.